Hey friends, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good start to the new year. Um, today I'm going to be doing a bit of conling calligraphy. Um, so if you don't know what a conling is, I'm assuming you know what calligraphy is, fancy writing, but if you don't know what a conling is, it's basically just a constructed language. Um, this is one that I made myself. Uh, it's a fun hobby. Um, and so you can see me writing uh, what I'm about to write in in English. Well, that's not English. In, in English script, in the Latin alphabet. Um, and now I'm starting to write it in my conscript. So um, I believe this uh, phrase translates to downtown dream scene which is kind of a goofy um thing but you know the uh for what i'm doing it's not really important uh what it actually says i'm mostly just using this as an outlet to make interesting calligraphy um so yeah uh if you if you're not, um, if you're not, uh, linguistically minded, uh, or have any linguistic knowledge, you might be wondering what that big S is. Uh, that's basically an SH, like a shh sound. Um, but people just use that in linguistics to mean the SH. Uh, so yeah, right now I'm starting off boring because I'm using the the basically the uh, the like basic version of this script where it's very straight lines very neat very tidy um, but I'm basically just writing it all first uh, in this basic script and then uh, I just did that I I just finished that script and now I'm writing it again uh, but in like I guess one level higher where if you notice i'm taking every pair of letters and kind of merging them i'm squishing them together um and so that's how you get that that e shape i'm just recreating the first line and now i'm recreating the second line uh this is a vertical script so it might be a little confusing to read but you can tell by the way by the direction i'm writing um it's a vertical script yeah, we have that S looking shape. Um, and I think I squished these into two lines instead of three. Originally I did three lines, but I'm trying to squish it in two to make more space so I don't run out. But yeah, uh, if, you, if you're really interested, you can pause the video and probably see the, the connections between uh, the first set and the second set, how I, how I combined the different letters, uh, but this isn't really the interesting part, so feel free to just ignore that. Uh, I put those weird, like, uh, line with a circle in the middle between the letters, or between the words, just to make sure, um, I had them split up, because I didn't want to confuse the different words, even though it doesn't really matter, because it's not like I'll be actually reading it, but uh, now we're going to level 3 I guess you could call it a level 3 kind of weird, but um, this is where uh, I basically have a way to write all these different combinations in more of a organic uh, flowy way to write something that would make more sense in calligraphy. Um, I took some some artistic liberties in in uh, transcribing some of these different straight edge shapes to the more curvy flowy shapes. Um, but you should be able to see the similarities. You see, there's the S. Uh, there's the E. If I go up. Um, so yeah, this is the next step. And I'm not putting too much effort into this part either, because the next step is really where uh, it gets fun in my opinion. 
uh, right now I'm just following the typical writing structure of all the things that I make in this conscript. There it is. Looks kind of cool, but it's something special. But now, uh, here's where it gets fun, in my opinion, because I basically just say, you know what, forget being able to read. Uh, I'm just going to make it look cool. And so I, I try to combine letters together. I try to flow them into each other. And I try to make something that is completely illegible, but still looks nice. Um, so if you can see, uh, on the far left, there's those two first letters, and they kind of have this, like, backward C shape, uh, that's kind of shared between them. And so what I'm basically doing is combining those parts, where there's the end of the, the E shape, uh, and the main part of the second shape, uh, and I'm just flowing them into each other, so now they're just one big word, or one big, um, letter basically and i use the line to distinguish because the second letter has a line in that area um and i'm just using straight lines to distinguish between the letters i mean the words um again if you're not following along that's okay um <laughs> probably not doing the best at explaining but in the end, it's not really a big deal because uh, the mechanics aren't really what I'm trying to convey. It's more so just trying to make something that looks pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm basically moving on to the next letter now. Um, and I'm combining, I'm putting the start of the S uh, right by that, that curve shape on the first letter and just making it one big weird looking letter um i had a lot of trouble fitting this s in uh because i was gonna go with this the curves looked right but it was too wide i didn't want i wanted this piece to be more vertical than horizontal um so i ended up scratching this one and writing it more uh downwards pointing to make sure it doesn't get too wide um, in my opinion, this is mostly about just how you frame and organize everything, how everything flows together in the big picture. Um, the little details don't matter as much. It's more about the overall frame and the overall aesthetic, I suppose. I don't know. But yeah, uh... You'll be able to tell I make a lot of mistakes, and I could just edit them out, but I think um, it's important to know that mistakes are part of uh, doing stuff like this. Um, I don't want to come off as perfect, and there's a lot of trial and error in this, so I think that's important to express. Now I'm just moving on to the second to last letter. Um, it gets pretty dense in the middle of the piece. There's a lot of lines and dots. Um, and looking back at this, I actually completely forgot the accent dot on the end of the last letter, uh, which is kind of funny. So it's no longer legible even if you could read it. It's not a big deal. That's the thing about doing it in steps like this, is that if you, can't f if you forget one thing uh, near the beginning or near the middle, you're not going to look back and double check, or at least I don't, so it's just going to end up mistaken and everything, but it's not a big deal. And yeah, that's the, that's the pencil version. I really like it. I, it's a little slanted. Uh, I might not be the biggest fan of that one, that part, but I think overall it looks pretty good. Um, so usually what I do is, after I do a pencil version, which kind of looks like a, a rough draft of sorts, I go in with like a, a pen or a brush and 
we draw it in then I can use a color too which is fun um, I chose this like bluish dark blue green color uh, which I thought was fitting for the the, the technical meaning of the phrase um, but yeah I'm basically just trying to copy it uh, and I'll be honest I tend to have a lot more difficulty um, doing the second more like quote unquote polished draft uh, I never feel like it turns out quite as well so maybe I shouldn't even do it but I figured some people um, would appreciate that aesthetic more um, personally I always pretty much always feel like the pencil version ends up looking better but maybe it's just because I'm rushing at the end but yeah I actually ended up uh, doing it a little bit differently I I didn't quite get the same exact curves um, as the first one and that ended up changing the structure a lot um, so it wasn't quite as easy as just you know perfectly mirroring but it's okay I can change up the structure makes it more interesting but yeah I don't I'll be honest I don't think I liked the second version as much as the first as I said before uh, it ended up a lot more slanted it's the first one is slightly slanted this one as you'll see is much more slanted um, which could be a good vibe but I felt like it was a little off but that's okay yeah like I said I'm taking taking my time trying to get the right strokes it's not very easy getting a first try it takes a lot of practice and a lot of trial and error so finishing off this and I end up curving the last thing last little period I use the dot and the line as kind of like a period but yeah uh, that is that is that uh, piece uh, I hope you enjoyed hope you like it um, I'll link a comment that I made on reddit about this conscript and kind of my process behind it although this video is kind of just that but I'm in video form uh, but if you want uh, a link to the the script the the key that I that I used um, that will be in the description but thanks let me know uh, what you'd like to see in the future I'll see you